Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 175 of Manage the Wild. I'm Nick Madsen. Today, uh, well, over the last little while, I've been going through a book called Public, uh, Public Relations and Communications for Natural Resource Managers. And it was talking about uh, different ways that people need to communicate, especially when they're in government and they're working with multiple parties. But it got me thinking, and this is one of those controversial ideas I've come up with that actually would be uber, super beneficial. You've got a lot of, of special interest groups out there who are involved in hunting and finish and fishing and wildlife management in one form or another. Oftentimes, these guys are building relationships with individuals within the government as far as donating money uh, and equipment or funding certain projects and whatnot. And they're upset when you start dealing with animals that are coming into agriculture and destroying property because the oftentimes wildlife institutions, states, they only have a few ways that they can uh, deal with these animals. And oftentimes if the solution, oftentimes the solution after the problem has become so bad, so bad is just to kill the animals. And so it doesn't benefit anybody. But what I came up with, or the idea that I came up with, is it would be nice if these... Uh, special interest groups would reach out to these landowners. People become more tolerant of things when money is involved. People become a lot more tolerant of wildlife when money is involved. So instead of going out and spending all this money advocating against depredation, why don't they go to the landowners themselves and start paying the landowners for the damage themselves or here's another option pay the landowners to open up their ground to the public this also goes the same for these special interest groups that are opposed to wolves being hunted or bears being hunted or cougars being hunted oftentimes the lead drivers in these predators being removed is the agricultural industry because they're being the most affected. If these special interest groups, instead of dropping millions and millions of dollars on lawsuits, and they started paying the rancher for the amount of sheep that he lost to depredation, or paying for the amount of cattle that were lost from wolves, and they started paying that individual, ranchers herders, landowners would become so much more tolerant of wildlife. This is just the thing that I have seen. Oftentimes people are intolerant of wildlife until you say, hey, we can come in and pay you for your damage. But then when the damage doesn't exceed what the cost of an animal was, or they're, or they're expecting a little more money, they're often disappointed. So if these special interest groups want to start helping out the landowners to open up that area, uh, let's say that they will pay them $1,000 for uh, if they have 20,000 acres that they're willing to open up to the public. Because now, or whatever it is, if you want to give them $100 an acre for every acre they opened up, so if they have 10,000 acres, you give them $100 for every, I mean, we're talking a lot of money, but it depends on, is this a prime quality unit? And depending on where they live and the amount of animals and whatnot is all going to determine. But if uh, these groups started working it out with landowners to open up their ground, like walk-in access program, you're going to start getting more people who are on board to allow the public. If these special interest groups who are opposed to hunting of wolves, hunting of cougars, hunting of bears, if they started paying their ranchers for the depredation that's going on, fair market value for the each lost animal, then I guarantee that these ranchers are going to start working with these wolves and these cougars more 
because now they can cover their cost. Everything's not a loss to them. All right, you guys, hit me up. Let me know what you think on this. Is it a harebrained idea? Is it a good idea? Why aren't uh, groups doing this out there? Let me know. Have a great day. Stay wild.